Several years ago, I saw an earlier version of this V-Light red light therapy brain device, and I just thought it looked honestly pretty silly looking. It's like, why are they clipping this weird light to the inside of their nose and flashing light up through their nasal cavity and through their skull with claims that it improves your focus and various other brain performance metrics? What's going on here? So I had my doubts until I tried it for myself this year and I felt the effects and then I did some deeper work and I saw the data right in front of me to back it up. So what I've done is wear this device for the past 30 days straight while measuring my brain performance with brainwave and brain blood flow tracking devices to see what would happen along with tracking how I felt through the whole experience. I also did a deep dive on all the plethora of research they've published through peer reviewed journals, working with various universities like Harvard and University of Utah, and it's all there published on their website. I'm Dr. Cody Rawl. I'm a US Navy trained psychiatrist. And for the past 10 years, I've been testing every brain device that I can get my hands on in the market to understand how to improve the brain health of myself and my clients as an alternative to medications and other more invasive brain and mental health treatments. Lately, I've been struggling with energy levels and motivation, so I thought it was a good time to try the V-Lite and see if it really did something for me. I have to tell you, it's not often that a consumer-friendly device like this comes with such depth of data and copious amounts of research behind it. In this video, we'll see how red light therapy from V-Lite might be a solution for your brain to help improve your memory, focus, mental clarity, motivation, and overall energy levels. I know that's a lot of things to claim, but we'll see what's really behind it here in this video. I'll show you my own brain data I collected over one month of using this device and how the data compares to dozens of scientific studies and trials they've done and are running currently using the V-Lite device. Right off the bat, I wanna talk about the weirdest aspect of this device, it's the nasal, intranasal red light therapy application. Like what is up with this nose clip? How could this actually help your brain? Well, it turns out that the thinnest area of bone around your brain is actually your nasal cavity. So if you're trying to shine red light onto your actual brain tissue to get it to reduce inflammation or improve circulation, going through the nasal cavity turns out to be a really unique and actually quite ingenious way of doing that. The V-Lite devices have LEDs that are specifically designed to shine near infrared light and red light through bone to stimulate your brain tissue underneath. Red and near infrared light have been shown repeatedly across multiple institutions, lots of research on this. They really are affecting the microscopic tissue to enhance blood flow, reduce inflammation, and help mitochondria, the powerhouse of your cells, create more cellular energy in the form of ATP. One really convenient aspect of shining light through your nasal cavity is that you directly affect the frontal part of your brain which it turns out is responsible for improving your focus, decision-making, and mental energy levels. So one of the first things that I did when I got V-Light was test to see if it would actually change the amount of blood flow to the front part of my brain. Luckily, I have the new Muse Athena, which measures the blood flow of my frontal lobe in real time by using functional near-infrared spectroscopy, or FNIRS for short. And sure enough, when I had the Muse headband on and I turned on the V-Light nasal LED, the blood flow detected by Muse Athena obviously started increasing within five to 10 seconds and continued to do so throughout every recording that I've done. I was surprised how well this actually worked. Depending on what nostril I put the light emitter in, it would actually make the oxygenated blood flow of that side of my brain higher. If I put the V-Light LED in my left nostril, it would actually show higher levels of blood flow on the left side of my brain and vice versa when I switched to the other side. It worked so well that I had a lot of questions about if it was just the light itself from V-Light that was affecting the Muse sensors to make it appear that there was increased blood flow. 
So I made sure to do a deep dive on that, and it turns out the wavelength of light coming from V-Light absolutely should not affect the amount of oxygenated versus deoxygenated blood that the Muse sensor is picking up from my brain. It really does look like from the data that I've collected that there's a quite immediate effect on the brain tissue that the V-Light is shining on, likely by inducing nitric oxide and causing those blood vessels to dilate, increasing the blood flow to that relative area. I've demonstrated this with the Muse headband in the multiple different apps that it has. I have the real-time blood flow tracing, and I also showed that it shoots your mental performance, mental strength training scores through the roof. After seeing the data, I was like, wow, this thing really is doing something to my brain. And if you look at the V-Light website, they have all kinds of studies to demonstrate how this device is making significant changes in the brain. There are blood flow MRI scans showing the activation. There are brainwave studies showing various changes in connectivity all throughout the brain, and they produce data and are producing a lot more data in current clinical trials to show that patients with things like traumatic brain injury or concussion show a lot of improvements across various domains to include anxiety, sleep performance, focus, and overall cognitive abilities. Now really quick, if you're already getting value from this video, be sure to hit subscribe. It really helps support me to bring this work of the best neurotech and brain health to you, and I really appreciate it, so hit that subscribe button. Now getting back to the research, I saw that yes, it is improving the blood flow in my brain. My focus scores are going way up on the Muse. What was this doing to my brain week to week? And I saw some research coming out of University of Utah where this research team found that red light therapy really has no side effects and it has some of the biggest changes in reduction of inflammation, improved blood flow, and more energy levels. Well, again, it has such a low um, side effect pro profile that there's really no dangers to, to trying it. So there are some thoughts that, um, that the, the light may actually play an important role in reducing inflammatory processes that may occur from a host of different kinds of injury. So I was thinking, hey, maybe it'll help my brain when I'm under stress during really stressful work weeks. Now, for those of you who have been following me, you might know that every month I run a group coaching program to teach people about non-pharmaceutical ways to improve their brain health and mental resilience through biohacking and various types of technology. Now, I used the Neurable Brainwave Tracking Headphones with their brain health reports to see what was the difference between week to week. During the first month, I ran the course without any intervention and I saw my focus, wakefulness, and attention scores all go down into the red by the end of the first week. On the next cohort, I used gamma stimulation from the V-Light device after my coaching sessions to help my brain rejuvenate and I was really surprised because all of my metrics during that stimulation week remained in normal limits throughout the entire week. And I can tell you, I did feel a significant difference in my focus and energy levels throughout the week when I was using the V-Lite Gamma Stimulation. Now let's talk about the device a little bit. I've got the Neuro Duo 4 from V-Lite. And in this device, they've specifically placed LEDs in very specific areas of the brain to activate the default mode network and salience network for maximum effect for improvements on memory, mood, and mental resilience. They really went through a lot of painstaking studies to make sure that the power of the LEDs was actually creating change in the brain tissue below, which is something that's lacking by other red light therapy devices on the market right now that claim that they treat the brain, but haven't been shown that their light actually makes it through the skull to affect the tissue beneath. For example, the LEDs on V-Light are contained in a specific casing that allows the light to be focused through the skull instead of shining diffusely and bouncing off the scalp, which they think is happening in a lot of other devices. The device comes with a really easy power module that you can use that charges through USB-C. When you turn on the device, you definitely see red light coming out of the modules, but it is important to note that a lot of the light coming out of these LEDs is in the near infrared spectrum that you can't actually see. Now for similar red light devices, they are charging upwards of $3,400 for it. This V-Lite Neuro Duo 4 is going for $2,400, which is still a premium price point 
but it is a bit more accessible than some of the other products on the market. And I can tell after looking at all of these, it has way more scientific evidence behind it. Honestly, with all the science they have behind it, I feel like that they could charge $10,000 for this device easily and sell primarily to clinics. But I'm really excited that they have a price point that is manageable for people that are really taking their brain health seriously. And I'm definitely going to start incorporating parts of this into my eight week coaching program that I do with clients. Time and time again, we've just seen that increased blood flow to tissue improves circulation and reduces inflammation. And we know that's good for the brain. And I can just see that if this device is doing that, that it's probably leading to improved symptoms all across the map to include better focus, better sleep, less anxiety, better mood, better energy levels. So if I had had a concussion or a traumatic brain injury, or absolutely if I was having some signs of neurocognitive disease, and I am definitely incorporating it into my health and wellness routine and switching back and forth between the gamma stimulation and the alpha stimulation from day to day. They generally recommend to use the gamma setting in the morning and afternoon to wake yourself up, and the alpha setting in the evening to wind yourself down. I definitely felt differences between the two settings on the Duo 4. I'd say that if you do suffer from anxiety, you can use the alpha setting earlier in the day too if you want. They do have several different versions. If you're a general consumer and you want to improve your focus, mental clarity, and energy levels, I would take a look at the Neuro Duo 4. For most people, I think that switching back and forth between that gamma and alpha stimulation will give you a really great primer and allow you to engage in red light therapy that's really going to improve the health of your brain and your mental resilience. I've seen the previous versions and I can tell that they've gone through a lot of trouble to improve the look and the feel of this device from previous versions. It was really easy to place on my head and it was comfortable to wear for long periods of time. They've improved the straps, they've made the LEDs focus better through that casing that I talked about earlier, and they've improved the nasal clip so that it doesn't hurt so much when you clip it on the side of your nose. It was mildly uncomfortable, but if you position it right, you hardly even notice it. Now, if you're a practitioner and you want more flexibility to create your own light stimulation protocols, take a look at the Neuro Pro 2. They have an entire app where you can customize the LED activation and frequencies for your own specific needs. They're developing a meditation protocol right now that I'm really excited to try soon. I think the potential for this type of intervention is amazing and the amount of research that they've accumulated to show that this stuff really works has really impressed me and i have to ask if it helped you wake up clear-headed and focused and motivated every morning would it be worth it to you i wasn't really quite sure until i saw the data myself and how i felt like how it affected me so i'm definitely incorporating it into all my work now and it's really great to have this type of intervention on the wearable side of the health wellness space for the brain now. I will have more in-depth tutorial videos for V-Lite coming soon, so be sure to subscribe to the channel for those. And if you want an introduction to what I'm doing with my clients, take a look at my five-day challenge in the description of this video below. I also have a discount affiliate link for V-Lite below if you want to make a purchase and help support this channel. And if you want to learn more about the devices that I use to measure my brain changes with V-Lite, check out this video is here and I'll see you on the other side.